Hi, my name is Jim Penny. I'm a data scientist from Alibaba Cloud. Today in this video, I will show you how to use MassCompute. What is a MassCompute? MassCompute is a database and the user can store their over PB or EB level data inside the MassCompute and it also supports massive data processing by defining the MapReduce or the UDF function and you can implement your UDF function by Java or Python that means you can miss your programming language and we have two IDEs one is a Dataworks which is an online IDE another is a Mass Compute Studio which is an offline IDE and in this video I show you how to use a Mass Compute Studio and to develop and work on to processing the data and it's based on MapReduce so now we can start to install the Mass Compute Studio now we create a local project which called work count and then we have to create a new project that can be connected to the mass compute project and this is some parameters we have to set up access id access key project name endpoint for the access id and access key we need to create a sub account, sub -account. and we go to the alibaba cloud homepage and then we go to the console and then we search for RAM and we create a new user for our account Let's play network account as well automatically ge generate the SS key And we close here. This is SS key, SS ID, and SS key. We can copy paste to the IntelliJ first. Copy paste. And now we close it, and we go to the data walls. We remind you, data walls is an online IDE for mass compute and now we can create a new project in the mass compute and we choose a uh, fanfare and mass compute pay as you go and I use the uh, data integration as well we create a new project which called work count 2018 And now we can go to the data studio to add the user at our account into this project. We can set up the permission in the project management. Project manager. And then we add the new members as a developer. We are missing two parameters. One is the project name, another is the endpoint because this endpoint is used for the channel vision. So we search for the endpoint for Europe. Let's compute endpoint Europe. And now we can have a look. And these are the endpoints for different different regions. So we choose the endpoint for Europe and then we back to the IntelliJ for the endpoint here and we use the work count as a project name 2018 and click yes it was so in Mass Compute Studio you can open a console and console is support all the ODPS command Let's see what is the command inside the ODPS command. 
For example, you can run the SQL and quit the system. And also you can add a file or archive or a table into the ODPS mass compute project. And also, also you can get the resource, download the resource to the local, drop the resource and those operation. And all this command for the permission, you can grant a, a role or a user for the resources. For example, a table, so the ACL and put the policy control on the row set the label to the user etc and also you can use tunnel to upload and download the file so now we try to initialize a table and then we insert to test the records in these tables and we open the console in this project. We create a table which call hello with two colon colon one string colon two string and then we insert into a, this table with values. Hello world and hello world. And then we insert a second record, Alibaba and Jinpeng. And now we have, can have a look what is inside, what is inside the table. Hello. And you can see we have two columns in this table and contain two records hello world hello world hello alibaba hello jinpan and now we have a small database to test it so here is the map reduce for the word count map reduce is a famous framework that was original proposed by google and then it's widely used by the distributed uh, processing as an uh, input on the left there are many uh, slices and it was for example here is the walls and then we will pass to the mapper and the mapper will produce the key values here the key is the walls and the value is the count and then the second step is the shuffle shuffle means the merge short by the key values it means that we short all the key values by keys by using the merge short and then after, once the all the key value is sorted it will assign to the reducer. For example, here we assign to two reducer by the key values. Or the one will be assigned to the reduce one so that we get the output data one. It happens five times. And the word two, it happens three times. And the word three, it happens once. So this is the basic idea for map reduce. And now we can create a map reduce example. For the word count, we go to the project and we create a package, a module first with mass compute Java. And let's say word count and mar as the name of the module. And we have a new module. In the new module, and we will have a directory which call examples. And there are many different kind of examples. For example, graph, MR function, UDF function, and a structure example. So in this video, I only show you the word count. And we can go to the Java and create a package. Let's say dot com example MR. And we create a class which call word count. And in the example, we just copy paste the code, including the import.
and we first go through the main function we define a job, a MapReduce job and we set up a mapper combiner and reduce a, as an output we define the output as a string which is a word and the output value is a bit int which is a count of the words and for us the this is the input table for us is hello with the column the name of column column one and column two and we don't have a second input table so we remove this one and we will define the output table as a hello out and let me explain a little bit the uh, all the function all the code here we define class which call word count and we define a mapper it's a tokenized mapper and here is in initialize all the variables for example here is a key is a word and here is a value is one and the mapper he tried to go he goes through all the columns of the records and then he get the one value and split into the words and for each word he write out a word and one one is one and word is the which word in the database and this is output for the mapper also he has a an global counter but it's not useful in these cases so I I don't explain here and uh, here is a sum combiner sum combiner he tried to go through all the values and then do the sum consider one key and then he write out key value at the end of reducer he will produce the output and as the output is the same with the sum combiner the different the only different is here the result result is the output record and then we set up the first column is the key value the the value of the first uh the key the key is the word word and the count is the sum of the all the it happens how many times so this is the output of the record and he write out for the contents so we finish the job and he will output the number of the occurrence so this is a classical example of word count and now we can deploy the word count jar into the server just right click and then deploy to the server and this is the file we deploy on the remote machine we keep it and then we open the console again We list the resources and you can see the jar have been uploaded and now we create the output table table hello out with two column one is a world this is string count it's a b int and we can have a look how to use the jar and we try to call the jar remotely uh, which resources this is because this class pass is a local pass and we just copy paste this uh, jar And then we also have um, remote resources on the mach remote machine. I just copy this example. And then at the end, it's a class we just created. Which called con dot example dot mr dot word count. I think it's correct. And 
and since this is the counter we just define it and now we can have a look of the output so from hello out and you will see here Alibaba e happens count one and hello because we have four times hellos and that's the correct result to quickly recap in this video I've installed the Mass Compute Studio on my machine and then I configure the Mass Compute Studio and as a processing example I show you how to develop a word count map reduce to count how many words in the tables and if you have any question you can send me an email or leave your comments with this video thank you